Today's lesson is conversions review. So we're going to do some rainbow math here. And I'm going to put some problems up. These are all problems that you should know how to do. You may use the big little method. You may use mental math. You may use other strategies to convert these. I recommend the big little method because most of the mistakes that are made are made by students not following one of the steps mentally. And if you write it out, you're more likely to follow it instead of forget it. So here are our problems. So, 16 problems. These should be going pretty fast by now. You have your fast facts to look at in your notes. You have your drawings, the big G, the C for cup, and possibly the LB with the 4x4 four four array of all of the ounces in there to help you out. So what you need to do is you need to copy down these problems, give yourself plenty of room to work. Some of them you're going to know right off the top of your head, and that's fine as long as you're really asking yourself, does this make sense? Another thing that you could do if you've got a picture is you can kind of count on the picture, and that's just fine too. And there's always the big little strategy as well that you can use. So copy these down and figure out those missing numbers for the correct units. And if you get stuck on something, you can play this video and I will talk through each one. So time to get cracking. Press pause now. All right, starting right here with number one, 11 yards is how many feet? Well, we know that one yard contains three feet, and yards are bigger than feet, so 11 is going to be little, and our other number for feet is going to be big. So 11 times 3 is 33. For number 2, 4 feet equals how many inches? Well, there are 12 inches in one foot, so basically we have four groups of 12, or 48 inches. For number three, five tablespoons is equal to how many teaspoons? Well, there are three teaspoons in every tablespoon, so we have five groups of three, or five times three is 15. Number four, five meters equals how many millimeters? Well, one meter contains 1,000 millimeters, so that means that we have five groups of 1,000, or... 5,000. For number six, 32 fluid ounces. So we're talking about capacity here and how much can fill up containers. 32 fluid ounces equals how many cups? Well, we know that there are eight fluid ounces in one cup. So we need to do 32 divided into groups of eight, like pouring them out eight ounces at a time to fill up those cups. So 32 divided by eight is four. Number seven. Seven kilometers equals how many meters? Well, our fast fact is that kilo means thousand duh. So each kilometer has 1,000 meters. We have seven groups of 1,000 which means seven times a thousand is 7,000. Number eight, grams and milligrams. Well, milla always means thousandth. So that means that a milligram is a thousandth of a gram, a tiny, tiny, tiny piece of a gram. So that means that there are a thousand milligrams inside a gram. We have 60 grams, which means 60 groups of one thousand. So that's going to put us at six times one is six, and I have four zeros to place. One, two, three, four. Now I can place my comma. 60,000 milligrams. That's a lot of milligrams. All right, shooting on over to number nine here. 36 meters equals how many centimeters? Well, centi means hundredth. 
which means a centimeter is a hundredth of a meter, or there are a hundred centimeters in a meter. So that means we've got 36 groups of 100, or 36 times 100. So that's 36, oops, and two zeros get placed. Looks like I need to do some erasing here to make room. And a comma after the three. 3,600 very ugly centimeters. <laughs> there, that's nice and better. Number 10, 40 quarts equals how many pints? Well, use that big G picture for that. Within one Q, we have two P's for pints drawn. So that means that there are two pints for every one quart. But we have 40 quarts, so that means that we have 40 times 2 to get us 80 pints. Moving on to number 11, 32 cups equals how many gallons? Well, for this one, use that picture. Figure out your fast fact. How many cups are in a gallon? If you counted correctly, you counted that there are 16 little C's inside the big G. That's right, 16 cups in one gallon. We have 32 cups, so we need 32 divided by 16, and we get two gallons. Number 12. Seven liters is equal to how many milliliters? Milla means thousandth. So that means that for every one liter, there are a thousand milliliters. But we have seven liters. We have seven groups of a thousand. So we have seven thousand milliliters. Number 13, 80 ounces equals how many pounds? Okay, so if we're doing ounces and pounds, that means this is not fluid ounces like we had in number six with cups. This is the ounces that we measure weight in. Our fast fact is that there are 16 ounces in one pound. So we need to divide our 80 ounces into groups of 16 to find out how many full groups of 16 we can make, or how many pounds we can make. So 80 divided by 16 would be 5. Number 14, we're dealing with kilograms and grams. Kilo means thousand, duh, the big kind, which means that it makes, it takes a thousand grams to make one kilogram, but we have 80 of them. So we need to do 80 groups of 1,000. So eight times one is eight, and I've got one, two, three, four zeros to place, and a comma to place as well. 80,000 grams would be an 80 kilograms. Number 15, this one got a little tricky. 35 milliliters equals how many liters? Well, what's our fast fact? Milla means thousandth. So a milliliter is a thousandth of a liter. In other words, it takes a thousand milliliters to build up to one liter. Well, I only have 35, so I don't even have one liter. So, how am I gonna need to do this? If I know that my fast fact is telling me that there are a thousand milliliters in a liter, I can see that a thousand has one, two, three zeros, or three powers of 10. So I know that there's also that hidden decimal there that we don't really need. I could move it one, two, three, one, two, three places to the right and get 35,000 liters or I could move it one, two, three places to the left and get 0 .035, or 35 thousandths of a liter, which is gonna make more sense 
Well, we need to picture it. 35 milliliters. It would not be enough to fill up a one liter jar. So it's certainly not going to make 35,000 one liter jars. That means we've got to go to the left. Left is less. We'll end up with a little gap. We can put a zero there to hold that place. And our final answer is 0 0.035 or 35 thousandths of a liter. Not very much. Number 16, our final one, 0.8 kilometers or 8 tenths of a kilometer. Almost one kilometer, but not quite is how many meters? Well, kilo means thousand, so that means there are a thousand meters in a kilometer. So, at this point, we're thinking, okay, that means that there are going to be a lot more meters over here than 0.8. If our number is 1,000, and 1,000 has one, two, three zeros, we can either multiply by a thousand or divide by a thousand, which means moving the decimal one, two, three places to the right or one, two, three places to the left. Left is going to get us less. It's going to be like point zero 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 eight. If we move it to the right, one, two, three. We'd have to fill in those gaps. So it looks like we'd have 800 meters. Now ask yourself, does that make sense? A thousand meters would be one kilometer exactly, but we have a little less than a kilometer, so we have a little less than a thousand meters. So that makes sense for our final answer. Final answer would be 800. If you're still not sure about numbers 15 and 16, and you're going, how did they know to move it to the left or the right? Try big littling it. Put it on the scale and see if that makes a difference. Milliliters are little, liters are big. That means our number over here is gonna be the bigger number, and our unknown is little, so we're going from a big known number to a little unknown number. To get from big to little, when starting with a whole number, we're going to divide 35 divided by 1,000, which means moving the decimal three places to the left. One, two, three. Number 16, 8 tenths of a kilometer is how many meters? Well, kilometers are the bigger unit. Meters are little, which means that to balance out our scale, this number over here is going to be little, and our unknown is going to be big. So we're going from a little known number to a big unknown. That means multiply. So 8 tenths times... 1,000, because kilo means 1,000, which means one, two, three places over for the one, two, three. So 800 meters. So if those threw you for a loop, again, that Putting it on a scale and the big littling it strategy it might seem like a lot of work. Geez, how long did that take me? Like maybe 10 seconds and that's just because I was explaining it to you guys. Don't be lazy. Do the work and do the steps to ensure that you get the right answers. There's no task for this homework assignment tonight, but get ready to do some conversions tomorrow.